In chapter four, I will discuss key risk factors affecting multi-asset portfolios with Cedric Baron of Generali Investments. Cedric, in your particular strategy at Generali Investments, you're targeting a 4% return. There is a history of financial services firms promising, guaranteeing such returns and they weren't always kept. Why should your promise be any different? When I designed this strategy, one of my uh, first concerns was to uh, be sure to be able to uh, distribute this 4% income per year. In the, in the current environment with low yield, it is quite difficult to uh, find, if you only invest in equities and bonds, uh, a 4% uh, payout ratio. Uh, in average, uh, the, the, the dividend yield is below 4%. Uh, some bonds have a coupon higher than 4%, but it's clearly not the majority of, uh, of instruments, so it is quite difficult. And that's the reason why uh, we complement this source of income with uh, option premium. By selling op call options, uh, we can get a uh, very attractive level of income, uh, clearly higher than, than equities and bonds, and that give clearly a buffer for this income generation, and uh, we generate actually uh, maybe a larger uh, level of, uh, of income than 4%. But do you also have a figure for a maximum loss which a client could potentially make in one of your multi-asset portfolios? Uh, there is um, a risk control mechanism in the portfolio. Uh, the volatility of the portfolio remain below 6%, maximum 6%. So I won't commit on any figures uh, as a maximum drawdown, but what I can tell you is that um, risk management, I mean volatility control is very efficient in, uh, in managing the, the, the drawdown, in reducing the drawdown. It is reasonable to think that uh, the portfolio should not lose more than twice the maximum volatility level. But since the financial crisis, there have been several episodes of all assets being totally correlated, all falling at exactly the same time. What is to prevent this happening in the, with the assets that you've allocated to in your portfolio? Yes, most of the time we consider that equities and bonds uh, are negatively correlated. But you're right, at some point in time, they could recorrelate. Um, that's often the case when central banks influence the market. Uh, it was the case in uh, May 2013, for instance, when Bernd Bernanke uh, announced the upcoming of tapering. All the asset classes went down on the same time, equities, bonds, commodities, etc. So that's the reason why the implementation of a volatility control is key in that case. The only safe haven asset remaining is the cash. So you reduce uh, your risk exposure by switching to cash in order to uh, protect the portfolio. Then, um, when the market one asset class is recovering, the tactical asset allocation will do the job to uh, increase the exposure to this specific asset class and trying to uh, benefit from it. When um, all the asset classes are going down on the same time because the central banks were more hawkish than expected, actually um, these parallels are, are, are quite short term, transitory I would say, and often the equity markets uh, will recover and perform well in, in, the, in the coming months. The reason is that investors understand that if the central bank uh, is more hawkish, it's simply because they do know and they do think that the, the, the economy is strong enough to, uh, to withstand a higher interest rate uh, environment. So it is positive for, for stocks, and uh, that's clearly what happened in 2013. Uh, the summer was very positive for the equities. Uh, what is interesting is that that kind of, of uh, environment do not last long, and then one as the class uh, uh, tend to perform well. I I'm quite convinced that uh, a multi-asset uh, allocation, uh, which is well diversified, uh, which offers flexibility in its tactical asset allocation in a risk control framework, while delivering a 4% income per year, is clearly um, a a good instrument, I mean, fitting exactly the need of investors uh, inside their core investment. Cedric Baron of Generali Investments, thank you very much. Thank you.